McLaren has finally announced the pricing for its latest long tail model, the McLaren 765LT. In a press statement by the British marquee, the order book for the new 765LT, which was unveiled earlier last month, is now open to its customers. Only 765 units of the 765LT will be built in total. As for pricing, McLaren said that the recommended retail price of the 765LT is $358,000. This price tag includes around $50,000 worth of comparable cost options on the McLaren 720S, which should show the value proposition of the new long tail model according to McLaren. But the 765LT's pricing isn't without great standard equipment. At that price, it already comes with louvered carbon fiber front fenders, quad pipe full titanium sports exhaust system, ultra lightweight 10 spoke forged alloy wheels with finished platinum and secured with titanium wheel bolts. McLaren vehicle lift, Alcantara interior trim, a choice between carbon fiber racing seats or power adjustable heated memory seats, carbon fiber exterior upgrade pack, carbon fiber primary interior components pack, MSO defined carbon fiber extended shift paddles and McLaren branded mats on the bare carbon floor. The McLaren 765 LT is powered by a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 that makes 755 horsepower and 590 foot pounds of torque. The gearbox is said to be a tweaked 7 speed dual clutch that shifts 15% faster than the 720S. This propels the supercar from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds. I mean, the 765 LT is both lightweight and incredibly powerful. Compared to the, the 720S, the model in which it's based, power is up by 45 horsepower and with a 30 newton meter torque increase while reducing the weight of the car by 80 kilograms. And that's the LT formula, stripped out, track focused, faster throttle response and an enthralling soundtrack. Yeah, and I know you love to get behind the wheel and every opportunity you get, what is it like to drive? Well, it, it, it's incredible. It, it's in some ways the finest driver's car we've done. But really, rather than here for me, I think the best person to talk about the car and how the car drives is the man whose team have done the development work to perfect it. So why don't we bring him out here? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome former Indy 500 winner, IRL champion and McLaren chief test driver, Mr. Kenny Breck. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a long and intensive uh, progr pr program, you know, to develop a car. And, um, in the old days, developing was done through trial and error, by feel. Um, now, with more advanced technologies, um, engineering departments have, uh, have a way of uh, uh, you know, simulating a lot through the development program. Um, but in the end, there's no, there's no uh, you know, uh, substitute, substitute yeah. for, 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 for the human touch. Yeah. Um, because in the end, it's people who drive the car. So, so being a test driver is a little bit like maybe a, a being a master chef. You, you sort of work with the engineering teams to, to blend these ingredients uh, to, to come out with the, the perfect flavor and feel. That's uh, what it is. And what is it? What is that feel that you are looking to create? Well, this is an LT model, and that's all about uh, driver engagement, you know, and, and, and performance, of course. You know, lots of power, low weight. Um, but the key to be able to use that uh, uh, performance is, is that the car needs to be able to communicate with you clearly, give you feedback as a, to the driver. It's, it's, you want the car to, to talk to you and, and, and tell you what it's gonna do before it does it. So it's not all about performance, it's, it's about getting the linearity and the, the, the predictability. And when that all comes together, it's an amazing feeling. And that's an LT. And that's sort of giving you the confidence to get that full potential from it. I mean, you're, yes. you're sort of giving me a, a, a very holistic sort of picture of uh, all the ingredients coming together. Are you saying it's not just about power anymore? It's not only about power, but power is obviously a very important part of it, you know, uh, and, and th believe me, this car has a lot of power, you know, um, but um, McLaren cars, they all have a, a distinctive character, each one of them, but the common thing is that they all drive well, is they feel good behind the wheel, and, and at McLaren we have a, a small team of, of um, development drivers, all very successful ex-racing drivers, and, you know, to win a race, to win a championship, 
you've got to have a winning car and, and you've got to know what that feels like and you've got to be able to help develop and set that car, uh, car up to feel that way. Uh, so we work really a lot with all the, the things that we can to, to blend this and, you know, steering Creating field. that harmony that you're looking for, all exactly. those different elements, just sort of take this through those different elements. Then. Yeah, that's, you know, how the steering feel, um, steering response, how, how the car responds to weight transfers in pitch, roll, heave, um, cornering balance, brakes, how the brakes feel, how they perform, throttle response, um, gearing, gear shifts, it all have to feel natural and seamless, uh, you know, and that's an amazing feel and that's what I think uh, the 765 LT uh, represents for us. So. I think it'd be fair to say that most people watching and most people in the room think you've probably got one of the best jobs in the world. Now, you and I were talking backstage about starting out life. You were encouraging me to get my kids into go-karting, and you know, you're nodding. Um, what, you know, looking at what you're doing now and what you've achieved and your job, the role that you play, could you have ever imagined, and what would you have said to that when you were a little go-karter starting out, that you're yeah, going to have know, one of the best jobs in well, the world? Well, you never know what life brings, do you? But, but for me, this is a, a fantastic job. You know, I've done 35 years of racing, worked with setting up cars, and it's a very creative process. It's, I love that part. You know, we, we really, we're really, we're passionate about that. And um, so this is uh, like, to, to go into this role for me, it's like, uh, this is the second chapter. It's, it's fantastic. It's a great uh, place to be. McLaren is so passionate about the cars. It's, uh, I love it. Yeah, and, it, and it comes across. And Mike, I know you're really excited about the potential yeah. of this car. Absolutely, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous car and what Kenny and the team have done to develop it is phenomenal. I think what, what comes from Kenny and the team, largely racing drivers who you work with, is, is that understanding of what makes a car perform. That, that predictability, that linearity, that response, that engagement with the driver is just what shines through. And whilst we can engineer it all to perfection, it is really the, the, the final bit that's done by, by the drivers that, that makes our cars so special. It's why they feel so special when you drive them. Mike, Kelly, thank you very much indeed. Um, this is going to become another McLaren classic, I think, is what you were saying to me a little earlier. This is your belief. Absolutely. It's, um, this will go on without a doubt to be one of the, the classics from, from McLaren. Um, we're going to build exactly 765 of these cars. Every car will be individually numbered. And that means that everyone who is lucky enough to own one of these will be part of a very interesting club.